Hi, my name is Jackson Cooper and I'm part of the 2018 Hires Cohort. I go to William Aberhart High School and I'm currently under the mentorship of Dr. Saeed in his lab. General anesthetics have revolutionized modern medicine, playing an integral role in ensuring patient comfort and safety in many critical procedures. However, the effects and mechanisms of general anesthetics has yet to be fully explored, including this is the cytotoxicity of these drugs. Recent studies have raised concern to the toxic potential of general anesthetics, especially to the neuronally vulnerable populations, such as the very young and the very old. Therefore, our lab has particular interest in the effects of general anesthetic on the developing mind. Recent studies have shown that exposure for as little as 30 minutes to children under the age of four can cause learning, developmental, and behavioral disorders later down on the road. My project dealt with studying a particular commonly used anesthetic, desferlin, an inhaled anesthetic commonly used in many surgical procedures. By subjecting cortical rat neurons cultures to an uh, effective dose of desferlorane, we were able to see the effects of the cytotoxicity. We were then able to quantify the data by immunostaining different growth results on the neurons, such as neurofilament and pre- and postsynaptic terminals. Then using fluorescent microscope, we were able to image the results and quantify the data. Further, we were able to use MitoTracker, a dye that's able to determine fission and fusion in mitochondrial cells. And then using confocal microscope, we were able to image and quantify this data, seeing the indicative of the cell health. With our data, we were able to show that P110 was able to selectively inhibit the fission of mitochondria, increasing cell survivability and neuron growth. While anesthesia is a non-negotiable part of modern medicine, increasing our understanding of its mechanisms and neurotoxic potential will allow us to develop better post-operative measures to protect the neuronally vulnerable population, those who need it most. Thank you.